Does empowerment in a work setting only entail granting autonomy? Or is there more to this multifaceted concept that has been evolving over the years? The evolution of empowerment has been a journey in itself. In the early stages, it was merely about granting independence to employees in their decision-making processes. However, the narrative has drastically changed. Today, empowerment is about nurturing skills, expanding knowledge, and cultivating leadership acumen. It's about ensuring that employees have the capacity to innovate, adapt, and take the initiative, not just about handing over the reins. However, the road to empowerment is not without its challenges. In an attempt to empower, some leaders unintentionally create an atmosphere of overwhelming expectations. This is where a clear distinction needs to be made between empowering and overburdening. Misplaced empowerment, where employees feel burdened instead of empowered, is a misunderstanding of the very essence of the concept. Another challenge arises when, despite efforts to empower, employees remain dissatisfied and begin to seek greener pastures. They feel that empowerment alone isn't enough. This is where the true narrative of empowerment needs to be redefined and rewritten. Empowerment isn't a one-time grant. It's an ongoing commitment. It's a continuous cycle of upskilling, nurturing, and supporting personal and professional growth. It's about creating an environment where empowerment isn't just a promise, but a reality. True empowerment is about investing in resilience. It's about providing opportunities, fueling ambitions, and allowing individuals to chart their own paths towards fulfillment. In this evolved paradigm, Leadership isn't just about delegating tasks, it's about inspiring, guiding, and fostering an environment where every individual's potential is recognized and nurtured. Empowerment today isn't a destination, it's a journey. It's an ongoing commitment to cultivate a culture where empowerment isn't just a buzzword, but a lived experience. It's about enabling individuals to reach their fullest potential where they thrive, innovate, and meaningfully contribute to the collective success of an organization. Creating an environment where trust and psychological safety flourish is the bedrock of empowerment. When employees feel safe to express opinions, take risks, and voice concerns without fear of reprisal, they become more willing to explore innovative ideas and make decisions that drive progress. Recognition and incentives are more than just motivational tools. They are affirmations of value. When employees feel their contributions are acknowledged and appreciated, it instills confidence in their abilities. This confidence becomes the catalyst for further initiative and innovation. Asking for feedback is an acknowledgement that every voice matters. When leaders actively seek input, it reinforces the value of each individual's perspective. In conclusion, the evolution of empowerment in organizations has been a journey from mere autonomy to a comprehensive approach that nurtures skills, expands knowledge, and cultivates leadership. It's about creating an environment where empowerment is not just promised, but practiced. It's about recognizing that true empowerment lies not just in granting autonomy, but in enabling individuals to reach their fullest potential.